Hello guys and welcome back to Clone Wars Retrospective episode. Today we will be taking a look at Barriss Offee, one of the Jedi's from Star Wars and Clone Wars. And also, in the end, she turned out to be a traitor. Of course, she did a bombing in Season 5 and Ahsoka was found guilty of that bombing. And then Ahsoka had to find out who really did it and it was Barriss Offee. And um, yeah, Barriss, I guess she was put to trial after that and being prosecuted as well. So yeah, Barris Offee, not the uh, coolest Jedi, I would say, um, but a uh, really cool figure. And this figure is actually based on the appearance of her in, I think it was Brain Invaders, one of the episodes uh, of season two in the Clone Wars, where uh, basically they take out uh, Geonosis, I mean Geonosis back into Separatist hands and they have to, uh, get it out of them they want the system for for them for the republic of course and in that kind of way when the episode episodes progress uh they found this hidden layer of a geonosian queen basically like the movie aliens you know you have all the aliens and there's like one giant alien queen same thing in the clone wars episodes there um and these kind of things that are wrapped around her lightsaber and wrapped around her other hand are basically kind of worms that crawl into the Jedi's nose or in people's nose or ears or whatnot and kind of take over them, take take them over. So yeah, brain invaders basically. So you have really cool accessories here on this figure. That's something I really like about this figure, uh, the accessories here, because she does come with obviously the lightsaber, but then you do have this long, I'm gonna say worm here, uh, this little worm piece that really wraps around her hands really well, the wrist, lightsaber, and it looks super, super nice, as you can see. And then on the other hand, same, same thing, because she basically holds it in her hand, but then also it goes around the arm. And it, they, these things can be removed, but it looks amazing. And also, I think they released a few clone troopers in some uh, double packs that had these kind of parts attached to them. Not the same parts, but just very similar parts uh, to their either hands or feet. So you do have that. And Bear's Offy, um, the rest of the figure is also very nice. I love the head sculpt here. Looks really good. It's so well detailed. As you can see, you can see all the little dots on her face, the green skin, blue eyes, really, really nice. And I love the sculpt work on her hood piece and the neck piece that kind of resemble like one have to resemble like one piece but you can't do that on a figure unless it hinders the articulation but it looks really nice i love the look of this it feels really good sculpted it really well so really really cool how they did that and then if you turn the figure around the rest of the figure is basically just a jedi ropes that she uh, wears and she has like a belt but instead of a silver belt buckle she does have like the little clasp there to hold her lightsaber and in the middle you can see uh, some sort of I don't know logo ish but it looks really cool I like it you can also see the hands here that are painted really well with the brown and then you can see the arms and in the torso there's some nice sculpt work going on there as well with all the lines and looks really really good and then the bottom part of the figure is something that I, again, really like on these Jedi figures. Is made out of a soft goods material. But this is not just any soft goods, this is a very special kind. I don't know even how to call this, or what to call this, but it looks really good. I don't know if you can see it. You can Sometimes you can see it and you know how it feels. I don't know if that, this, that's possible with this figure. But it looks really good, it feels really nice. Again, a completely different type of material than any other Clone Wars Jedi rope figure, so really cool. And uh, yeah, all in all, a really cool figure, and the articulation is very similar to any other Jedi figure with a ball joint head, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, swivel in the wrists, swivel in the torso, swivel in the hips, ball and knees, and ball hinged ankles. So really well articulated for these Jedi figures. So yeah, there you go guys, that was a quick look at Barriss Offee from the Star Wars and Clone Wars action figure line. I will be back with some more videos uh, very soon, so until then, keep collecting, and may the force be with you. Bye.